Yo, what's going on guys? It's I see you. Welcome back to another video. Right now I'm just chilling in my chair, kicking back, relaxing. Got some seven up. Got my scuff controller here to the left of me. And um I wanna talk about my scuff gaming experience. So I got my scuff in the mail about maybe a month ago, maybe a little less than a month ago. And I've been using it for a while now. Been using it a lot now. And um, I want to talk to you guys about my experience using the damn controller because this is the first time I've ever used the scuff controller. This is my first scuff controller. So I got the scuff for PS Infinity or scuff Infinity for PS. And um, I got the military grade grip, like the rubber splatter grip on the back. And I got a regular sized dome stick on the left and a extended sized dome stick on the right i got two paddles needless to say because i believe that's all you can get the scuff infinity with now i'm not sure i you might be able to get four i could be wrong correct me in the comments down below if you can still get four paddles on the new scuff controller uh scuff infinity for ps but um, I got all my buttons blacked out, so it looks really cool. Um, I'm sure I'll have a video up in this video of my controller just so you guys could see it. So I didn't do an unboxing of this because honestly, I was just so excited to open the freaking box, use the damn controller. Because like I said, it's my first time using the scuff controller. And uh, like I said, it's been about a month, so I want to talk to you guys about the scuff Infinity 4PS. So. Honestly, I think the thing is night and day for it, how it helps you in the game. Like, um, a lot. Some people, I don't know if it's still an argument or not, if a scuff controller makes you better or not. But to me, it's night and day. I perform extremely, uh, extremely more well with the scuff controller. I really like using the scuff controller. Um, this is one of those things where. If I didn't have a scuff controller now, I'd feel completely off not having one. Um, the paddles on the back are literally integrated to where my hand placement is now. And I would say that it wouldn't take you much more than a day to get used to it if you're playing most of the day. Uh, that's about how long it took me when I got my scuff. Now, if you guys are on the line debating on spending the money to get the scuff controller, Honestly, it's really just about how much you enjoy playing games. Um, it's it to me, it's really a first-person shooter, uh, and in general, a first-person shooter that has a lot of movement or a lot of um, a lot of button combination that you're gonna want to be using. Because for me, my left stick is A and my right stick is B. If you were on Xbox, and my left stick is X if you're on PlayStation and my right stick is circle if you're on PlayStation but um it really does help an extreme amount um the scuff joysticks that they put on the scuff 4 PS infinity or honestly they have a lot of grip on them they're more of a rubber feeling type um rubber obviously and not a plastic um they have more grip on them than the regular DualShock 4 if you were to ask me also um, I'd recommend getting um, electromagnetic remapping if you're gonna be playing a lot more games than Call of Duty honestly I pretty much only use the controller to play Call of Duty and I have I do have other games obviously but I haven't remapped mine I did get electromagnetic remapping but that's if you're not gonna be moving your buttons from X or circle or a or B then honestly, I would save the $30. Like I said, I got it just in case I use it for other games. But if you guys want to save the 30 bucks right there, that would be an easy way to do it. Um, I also didn't get the gamer bundle. I just didn't see the need to get a lot of those things as the box they ship you the controller in almost is good enough just to have as a mobile carrying case either way. Although the case that they do uh, offer as a bonus, if you want to spend an extra 30 bucks to get the bundle or whatever it is, I'm not exactly sure. It does look really cool and I'm sure it protects your PlayStation controller very well as it does have a really cool gaming controller look on it. Um, 
yeah guys that's pretty much um, all I really wanted to talk about for the controller if you guys want me to touch up on certain things about it that I might have missed in this talk about the controller let me know in the comments down below I will either make another video about it or at least give you a comment uh, under your comment meaning I'll reply to your comment duh but uh, that's about it for today's video guys thank you very much for watching hopefully you learned something or I inspired you to get the controller or inspired you not to Either way, as long as I helped you make your decision on your controller, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you very much for liking the video, commenting on the video, and if you guys would like to subscribe to see some more gaming entertainment, leave a subscription on the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.